Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Fly Tying with All Names. So today we are going to be tying a CDC crane fly or mosquito, depends on the size of hook you use. So I'm using a size 12 barbless dry fly hook by hands and 10 colored thread. And the first thing we are going to add is a few pheasant tail barbs for the antennae and the thorax. Then we are going to add the eyes. They are made of a bristle from an old paintbrush melted with a lighter on both ends, as you can see in the video. Then comes the black rabbit fur dubbing for the head. Making sure to twist some on both sides of the eyes. For the wings I'm using Grizzly Rooster Saddle. But first I'm threading the pheasant tail closer to the eye. This is important because these barbs will push the wings to the side. The tips of the rooster feathers are facing away from the hook eye. This way when we pull the pheasant barbs back, they will naturally move to the side, just like the wings on the real insect. We have to make sure that the pheasant tail is between the wings. My trusty old needle always comes in handy when there's need for some fine adjustments. For shaping the body I'm using CDC dubbing as always. For the thorax and the abdomen also. But before the dubbing, I'm adding some longer barbs for the legs. I love using CDC feathers, they are buoyant and versatile. Now I'm adding them as dubbing for the thorax. And now we're pulling back the pheasant tail to shape the body and push the wings aside. Securing it in place will give the thorax its final shape. I know it looks a bit messy right now, but we will clean it up. For the abdomen I'm using CDC as dubbing again and the segments will be done by the help of the thread later. The pheasant tail still has to be held up because it will be on top of the abdomen too.
tying it down, then backthreading, then back again, will give it that segmented look. Then we're finishing. And then some head cement. And then all we have to do is to tidy up the mess we made. This fly would catch fish as it is. I mean sometimes I live on all those barbs, they help in keeping it floating. But it looks the best when it's all cut nicely back. So please enjoy this footage of me maniacally snipping away with my scissors. Speaking of scissors, looking at this footage I should really invest in some better ones. These are too bulky. So here are some fish I caught with this fly. This is easily one of my favorite summer dry flies. It's easy to tie and gets the attention of the most finicky fish. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye!